Good evening guys and girls preparing for USMLA. This evening I would like to give you a few tips to remember acid-based disorders. And believe me, so many people are confused when it comes to acid-based disorders. In fact, it distracts them Many people just lose their interest when they see all those numbers in the blood gases and uh, it takes away their zeal from USMLA examination. But tonight let us see some important points, some easy points to remember acid-based disorders because not only from examination point of view but also in your future clinical practice how you read arterial blood gases is very, 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 very important in patient care. Tonight, let us see the acid-based disorders. There are four basic acid-based disorders. Metabolic acidosis, metabolic alkalosis, respiratory acidosis, and respiratory alkalosis. Now, before you touch them, just remember two things. Acidosis is less pH. Alkalosis is more pH. Acidosis is less pH, that is less than 7.37. Alkalosis is more pH, that is more than 7.44. So you need to know those things first of all. So when you look at ABGs, first thing you must do is to determine whether it is alkalosis or acidosis. So among all the numbers you see, you see on the sheet, first look at the pH. What does the pH tell you about? If it is less than 7.37, remember it is acidosis. If it is more than 7.44, remember it is alkalosis. So first define that. Once you define acidosis, acidosis could be metabolic acidosis or respiratory acidosis. Metabolic acidosis is due to low bicarb. Respiratory acidosis is due to high PCO2. So the two things you need to remember now are bicarb and PCO2. If bicarb is less, it is metabolic acidosis. If PCO2 is high, that is respiratory acidosis. So first you need to remember those things very well. The, for, for, for the uh, uh, easiness, remember like this, metabolic acidosis, low bicarb easy. Metabolic acidosis, low bicarb. So automatically metabolic alkalosis becomes high bicarb. So easy, right? Metabolic acidosis, low bicarb. Metabolic alkalosis, high bicarb. Now going to respiratory alkal uh, alkalosis, start with respiratory acidosis. What did I say earlier? Respiratory acidosis is due to high PCO2. So respiratory alkalosis becomes like less PCO2. So those are the issues you need to remember. So the first thing you must do when you look at ABGs is to look at pH and determine whether it is acidosis or alkalosis. Once you determine acidosis, what kind of acidosis is that? Metabolic acidosis or respiratory acidosis. Then once you determine pH, once you determine it is acidosis, look for bicarb and PC water. What kind of values of bicarb should bring acidosis? Bicarb should be low if you think metabolic acidosis is the reason or PCO2 should be high if it is respiratory acidosis. 
So what all you need to do is to sit down and look at pH if it is acidosis, see which value corresponds closer. If it is a bicarb low and a PCO2 low, bicarb low is the explanation for less pH and that becomes metabolic acidosis. If pH is low, bicarb is high, PCO2 is high, then what corresponds to acidosis? High bicarb does not correspond to acidosis. So what you are left is low PCO2. Sorry, high PCO2. So high PCO2 corresponds to this acidosis. So consequently that becomes respiratory acidosis. So that is very, very important to understand because if you get confused there, you will be confused throughout. Now what you need to do is to think about pH and let me give you quickly. Low bicarb metabolic acidosis, high, garb, high bicarb metabolic alkalosis high PCO2 respiratory acidosis, low PCO2 respiratory alkalosis. It is very, re remember what comes next if you remember these things well. Now compensatory mechanisms. Just in compensatory mechanisms, just think about what is needed. If it is metabolic acidosis, the patient has low bicarb. Now the compensatory thing is to take him towards alkalosis region. So now you need to think about what makes this patient alkalotic. He is in metabolic acidosis. His pH should go up. What makes to take his pH to go up? That is PCO2 should be decreased. Only that can make him alkalotic. So PCO2 has to decrease as compensatory mechanism in metabolic acidosis. And metabolic alkalosis PCO2 has to increase. Same with respiratory acidosis. In respiratory acidosis PCO2 increased. So how can you make that patient alkalotic? The ion that is there is bicarb. How can you use bicarb to produce alkalosis? Increase bicarb. So bicarb is increased and it produces respiratory compensation when the patient has respiratory acidosis. So I hope these things help you and if you have any easy methods to remember this process, just post them and uh, you are also welcome to visit my website at uh, www.usmlevideos.net where you can find hundreds of videos and uh, most important points so that you can prepare well for this USML examination. And do not forget to post important tips so that all students who are preparing for this exam could benefit from it. Thank you. Good night.